Hello. Hello. Yay. It worked. <laughs> Yay. Glad we practiced last night. <laughs> I accepted my co-host invite. I've got my co-host duties coming up here. Yay. Um, and because you so brilliantly decided to have us do Twitter spaces instead of like Zoom or a vlog or whatever, I am giving myself a French manicure as we go through this process. <laughs> Nice. I'm sitting on my sofa in my Britney t-shirt and friends pajama pants under a blanket with Maddie in my lap. I wonder with if, CNN on mute. I wonder if we have the same friends pajama pants because I have some pretty cute ones too. Um, mine are gray. I got them from Walmart. Oh, uh, mine are black. Nah, uh, they're different. Nah. And I have no idea where they came <laughs> from because they were a gift. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not bore people yeah. <laughs> with what we have on. What are you wearing? <laughs> My Backstreet Boys gear, of course. <laughs> I have my Backstreet Boys scrunchie in my hair. <laughs> All right. Well, is okay. it from the DNA tour? No, it's the one that um, a girl made on Etsy. Oh, okay. You know, I had to support the small business yes. people. <laughs> yes, we do have to do that. Absolutely. Um, DNA tour, let's talk about it. It's uh... well, well, we want to introduce ourselves first. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. We could do that. Okay. I'm Kara. I'm married to Nick. Um, <laughs> he's one of my many husbands. Oh, man. <laughs> um, I started this site in 2014 after my editor at the newspaper told me I should do it, even though I've had websites since God was a baby. <laughs> um, and everybody knows I have a big mouth and I'm a know-it-all. So there we go. Amber, <laughs> no, know it all, including a trivia, Backstreet trivia queen. We have to, yes. have to give you yes. that. Yes, I'm the trivia queen. I wear my crown proudly. I don't care if people say I run it in the ground. I will <laughs> do that until the day I die. It's going to be in my obituary. Uh, I'll be sure to make sure it's there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I'm Amber. I'll still go by Ames. Um, I have nothing exciting to say about myself other than I write on this site. Um, that's it. Yeah, I'm obviously a Backstreet Boys fan, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you want to talk about the DNA tour now? Because I know you were really excited about it. <laughs> I, well, yeah, obviously. I'm just, I'm still kind of like mourning that it's over on in our part of the world because I'm not ready to like not see it again. Well, we don't know it because it's the never ending tour. That is true. That is true. It's it a tour is that going never to. Ends. It's good. It's going to continue to go on because they'll, they'll, they're going. You know, they're going to places. I think after their anniversary, and then it's probably just going to keep going. It's just I, which I don't have a problem with, because I would I would pay by the ticket just to see new love again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't disagree. However, I really, as much as I love seeing them, I really would like them to like take some time off, like actually oh, yes. take time off. I feel like they're going to like crash hard when this is done, whenever that is, because oh, yeah. they're just going. And I mean, they're like home for, I don't know how long, but they probably even... only have like two days off. Yeah. Like a week, I think, if that. That's, that's crazy because they've just been going and like none of them have been home or like seen their kids or like for six weeks or something like that. So it's just, I don't know. As much as I love to see it over and over and over forever and ever. I would also like for them to take some time off. And then if we see this over and over forever, then are they not going to do anything else? Like we need, nah. I need other, other stuff too. They're going to do that Vegas residency again. Then Nick can stay home. That's and true. He can fix a spare bedroom for us. <laughs> hey, we're coming over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cook, we'll cook. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, no, I'll no, 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 no. He, we want pancakes. I don't even <laughs> like pancakes and I will take pancakes. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll make lunch. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, they do need time off. I, I love the Christmas stuff coming up, but I wish they didn't do anything because I feel like they're, they need time off. They're going to get burned down again, and I don't want them to get burned down again, and then Kevin to leave again. And I just, I'm <laughs> sorry, I have flashbacks. Oh, let's not let's not get to that. <laughs> well, okay, but, but honestly, with Kevin, hold on, let me take my anxiety pill. <laughs> With Kevin, okay. I think it's been, he's been really good about not overextending compared to some of the, the stuff. Yeah. So 
I think he's pretty intentional about that. Yeah, he's only done the one after party this year. And that was Halloween where everybody was, I think. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Well, granted, no, I mean, they didn't have that many in the U.S., but still. Yeah, but I mean, either way, I think I think he, it's 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 definitely intentional. Like, I think he's trying to to stay away from getting burned out. So, Hopefully. oh my, my dryer is done. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad. Anybody heard, if anybody heard that beeping? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I want them to take time off. Although there's like a ton of Christmas stuff coming up, like so much I don't even know. I know they had the JC Penney's thing, I think, on the first, I think. Yeah. That yeah. kicks it off. And then they have some party mm-hmm. that night. And then they have Kelly Clarkson. And then they have all of these jingle balls that do not come near Georgia. <laughs> well, and then there's something else, isn't there? Or is that it? Uh, oh, the Christmas. Um, oh, the special. Yeah, the special. Which I still don't know when they're going to film that, but be cool if we could watch that yeah that would be great i I would fly to la for it yeah that would be nice if they do it in la but you know i'd go wherever i'd go anywhere for them oh we're gonna (laughs) quote the lyrics now yes love it (laughs) yeah i'm going through withdrawals at this point like last month you know with everything going on i was kind of like you know i don't i'm good without backstreet boys i'm okay and then like now it's just kind of got to the point like nope I need some Backstreet Boys. Yeah, I need my fix. With the Christmas stuff, what are you most looking forward to? Um, Probably the special, since I'm not going to any Jingle Balls. Mm-hmm. Probably the special. I just, I just really want to hear them sing some of those songs live. Like, just I just want to hear the new stuff, that um, the brand new songs. The together and Happy <clears throat> happy Days. Yeah. Together is... I. I kid you not have probably heard that song at this point over a thousand times i love it's that like, song oh, i love that song so much so it's so good and like i know they are very big on christmas in new york and as you listen to it a few times it's a great song anything gary baker touches is gold but mm-hmm. i feel i just feel like together and happy days is yeah it's just but they're just better like they're they're more backstreety they are more backstreety, but I, I mean, the Christmas in New York song is pretty, it's very reminiscent of like traditional yeah. Christmas, which might've been kind of part of what they were looking for. And that makes sense because I don't really like traditional Christmas music. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> wow. Well, is my favorite Christmas song. So <laughs> the, yeah, the one that they did. Yeah. That's a good one though. Yeah. I think um, it makes sense if they're looking for that traditional piece but like together is super it's like more modern and upbeat and then the happy days one looks so good on that commercial yes definitely it's for that. yeah that is, it's almost like it well should we talk about the underwear i mean well, it's kind of part of the christmasy thing it is part of the christmasy thing <sighs> i don't know who came up with the idea but i want to bake them a cake <laughs> <clears throat> i mean whatever I, we had to do to get them back in their underwear <laughs> and they're on billboards now in their underwear like what is happening glory it's day so um no that commercial just makes me smile though although i mean really i am wondering where my invitation got lost in the mail but aside from that i really really like that interview i'm in my pajamas I... now so i'm ready i mean it's not <laughs> christmas pajamas and it's britney and friends but it's 90s so it works well, that's true. Same genre, I guess. 90s. Well, I still think that whenever they announce their 30th anniversary, whatever they're planning to do, they should include some sort of pajama party because I just feel like that would be... As long as they know. show up in their boxers. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's what they sleep in. I mean, I, I mean basically, we, I've already seen like two or three of them in their like, little underwear um, with crew stuff. <laughs> like... You mean like in person? Yeah, because on the 2014 cruise, Nick wore this little pair of, I don't know if it it was underwear or swimming briefs up under his luggage mat thingy that he had on. Oh, on that um, ABC night? Yeah, and then AJ had on like these little briefs with the popcorn thing on front. Okay, I don't remember that. And (laughs) that is the only cruise I actually went to, but I got nowhere near Nick that whole night. Oh, I was in the front center. (laughs) In, in, no, I didn't see. In the picture, you can I, see me peeking around Nick's waist, like his oh leg God. with a blue wig on. 
I'm in between Nick and Howie. I had that picture framed in my bedroom. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> no, I, that's the only cruise I went on, and somehow missed Nick the entire time. I don't know how. Oh, but... it was glorious. <laughs> well, I I haven't yet purchased my um, me undies. I'm on the fence about which ones I want, but I mean, I think I'm gonna get like the pizza bra. The, the pizza, pizza bra, bra. <laughs> yeah, the pizza bra, the pizza pizza bralette. I'm kind of partial to the aliens. I think I like the aliens. Yeah, I really like the pizza one. I don't like green, but I just like the idea that pizza is on it. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. They can just be regular black underwear. They're modeling underwear again, and that just makes me happy. <laughs> this is true. It's underwear that has some character, though, which is kind of fun. Yes, I and plus like this time, if you look at the, you know. How, how it started and how it's going thing that like we made and posted on social media. Mm-hmm. Nick's got mm-hmm. very m- much more confident of there showing his legs, which is good. He's not hiding them behind oh. a coat. I'm going to, well, yeah, that's true. I'm going to have to look at that because I haven't, I haven't noticed that just yet. I did. That's, that's all, the second thing I noticed. Besides <laughs> Brian didn't have a towel that he couldn't grab. So he had the little bow tie so he couldn't she- grab that at like, the photo. He was holding on to his jacket, though, I think. Yes. Uh, they did a good job recreating that. They, I don't know whose idea that was, but I very much appreciate that. Oh, yes. God bless them. Blessed. <laughs> I just watched The Handmaid's Tale, so blessed be the fruit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very wrong content there, but okay. We'll Aunt Lydia would approve. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. I got you. It's yeah. Well, either way, I, I enjoy the commercial. I love the promo pictures. Oh, yeah. They're yes. just having fun. I actually just thought about doing a fun. special Christmas layout for the website. Um, you know, and have yeah. them up there and just change back, you know, after the new year. I don't know if I am I might if I feel you know, creative. I, I wouldn't oppose that considering how much I love those pictures. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I'm not do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, people are talking. <laughs> oh, let's see what people are saying. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, you get the little <laughs> chat button down there. Oh, this is making me happy to listen to you, ladies. Oh, hi, Brandy. hey, Brandy. Oh, the buffalo plaid onesie. I gotta say, Brandy, I liked that one a lot. I'm thinking about a onesie. No, no, <laughs> Kathleen, I do not like pancakes, they're just so bland. Um, so me either sorry (laughs) unless like you know um i don't know unless nick slaps feeding them to me like i have said this before and the backstreet boys twitter like i mean facebook posted something with my quote in it where i talked about the cruise and said nick carter can put anything in my mouth at any time (laughs) i still have a screenshot of them posting my quote on there about that but it's true. He can put anything in my mouth. I don't drink. But when he gives it to me, pour it right on down. Yeah, well, okay, but you could also take that so many different ways, Carol. I know. That's the best part. <laughs> All right. Um, dinosaur onesie. I didn't see who was wearing the dinosaur one. I don't remember that one, but um, I don't know, but I, I I know there is one. Do they have children's I don't think they do. Clothing. I don't think they yeah, do. Yeah, because my daughter would die I for that. I do like that onesies. they have plus size. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's all just adults, I think. Yeah. I, yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, I do, like, right. I do like that they have plus size. That makes me feel happy as a big girl because sometimes we just get the shaft. Well, And not the good shaft. <laughs> it took me a second. I was going to ignore it. But no. <laughs> you didn't let me. Um, and then I do want to say too, I, I mentioned this to you earlier. I noticed that this company, they're very uh, philanthropic and they're um, supported by, or they, they support a company called, or an organization called Body Positivity, which, oh, uh, yeah. So of course the boys are involved in all the charitable things all the time. That's just their nature. Um, but as I've been like looking, I was looking through their website, just kind of get an idea of who they were and what I was looking at. Uh-huh. And it's, it was the uh, LA LGBT um, body positivity. And there's one more organization I can't remember. And it's all sustainable. Like 
it's just it's right up their alley. It makes per- it makes perfect sense, and I I really appreciated that, and it actually made me want to buy it even more. So I was like offense, but then I was yeah. like, oh, okay, now maybe yeah, I yeah, because I mean it, it. it is a little on the expensive side, but now that you say that, it goes, it's you know they support a lot of good stuff. It's not just Elon Musk wanting eight dollars for something. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's definitely they have they have a legitimate, seemingly positive reason behind it. So, um, yeah, so you can feel good about where the money's going. Do we want to discuss this new thing about what Nick may be doing? Yeah, (laughs) because we came across it today. So why not? Yeah. So apparently there is a mass singer thing in Montreal and Quebec. I can't. I took French in college. I only thing I can say is voulez-vous que je avec moi and voulez-vous en cola, so I can get sex or Coca Cola. But <laughs> I could understand some things on it, and um, all I I tweeted it maybe what, what five hours ago, six hours ago on the BSB fangirls um, thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all the clues, yeah lead to Nick. There's a few things I feel like they just threw in for the hell of it to screw you up because I know they do that on the Mass Singer. But everything leads up to Nick. The Florida, the I'm taking off, going to Germany first, um, France and um, UK and then Quebec. It's just the 80s people on the phone. It's just Yeah. Um I, yeah, when I saw it, it was like one after the other. There's definitely a connection there. I would be like, I couldn't, I don't know who else would fit those clues the way that he does. Um, but and, like, there were some things that threw me off. Like, who are, who are those people? See, I, like, t- I take it they look like people from 80s movies. And he has an 80s movie. And then the keychain, it was a house for House of Carters. And then the cell phone's going low. And then, you know. Well, yeah, he, low battery. Yeah, he, he yeah. has Sphinx cat, this whatever cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then he, I mean, he, there was a couple of references to song lyrics. And he talked about traveling the world. And he talked about Canada being one of the first places. 1996 was referenced. Which yeah. Is, like, the the same when. exact year. Yeah. So. I I want to watch it, but I don't think we can in the states. But. I haven't found a way yet. If I find a way, I will um, tweet it out to everybody. But I figure we might have to wait until we can, yeah, see videos on YouTube or something or Instagram something. But I know as soon as we hear the voice, we'll know for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wonder if this is his like second chance at winning because he should have won the last one. Well, see, in my opinion. someone I can't remember who it was now. I just tweeted them back. I think a little bit ago. But um, they posted, uh, they did the call, the loop call with Nick, and he said Quebec, and he said it like just like that cat did in the video, like hmm. it. They do the the k- at the end really like on point, and it sounded hmm. just like him. Interesting. What were the other clues? I can't remember um, all of them. But... The house. I'm taking off. Um, Oh, he's no, he rarely travels alone. Right. Unless he's doing something solo or something like that. Right. Said. Um, I mean, I just named them off while I go. The, the plane went from Orlando, Tampa area to um, Germany. Germany, which is the first, the per- first place they did. Then it went to, I want to say it was another flag in there because Amelia pointed it out, but I feel like yeah. they just put it in there to throw us off. And then it went to Germany and then it went to. Um, France. Canada. No, it went to France, oh, France. and then okay. UK, and then Quebec because it was the Cana- Cana- the Quebec um, radio station that heard them when they were overseas mm-hmm. and came back and played them. Well, there you go. Well, I mean, they they were up in Canada for a little while, and those things they usually film them pretty quickly, so it's totally possible, Tim. Yeah, he, we'll see. He seems to like his reality shows. I think it comes on. Monday or Tuesday, I'll have to look back and see, but mm-hmm. I believe that's what the article said. It said, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember which one. So we'll know for sure. And then if Nick totally ignores everything about it, like he did the alligator <laughs> 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 the crocodile, 
Yeah. Then you know for sure it was him because <laughs> he totally yeah, well, ignored, I mean, he ignored right, everything. <laughs> he did, but certainly right now. Oh yeah, true. Who? Yeah, he's definitely got a lot going on right now. I ho- I kind of hope he he's just stays off and does his own yeah, thing me for too. however long he's out. Do we um, want to talk about Aaron? We can. I don't want to talk too much about Aaron because it's just very sad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was very sad. Although the whole news about <clears throat> a book coming out apparently um was amelia posted a link earlier in our we have a chat where we all chat that works on the side um and they have stopped the release of the book that hillary duff was upset about um yeah. so th- that's good even though they released the album anyway yeah but they could still pull the album i mean oh, it's yeah. already out but um yeah but i saw that they they stopped the release of that, but then there's also the sitcom. Yeah, some little sitcom. I don't know if it was picked up by a uh, actual TV show or a streaming service, but he played somebody. I guess somebody's boyfriend on there. Yeah, it, uh, I don't remember all the specifics, but I don't think that it had been. They only filmed the pilot. It hadn't <laughs> yet been picked up, but it probably will be at this point. And then he played uh, some of the love interest. Yeah, he and he dressed as himself because he had the love necklace on. Yeah, he it's I guess it's like a fictional version of him or something like that. Oh. So it's the character's like modeled after him somehow. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That yeah, makes sense. I saw that. I saw that somewhere. I don't remember where. So I'll be curious to see that. I mean it's the the stuff I did see from it because I saw his co star I don't remember her name Olivia something or other yeah. or the, the love interest posted some um, a tribute to him and she was saying like you know I wish people knew the real you you know behind the all the junk that other people have seen so I it's possible you know that he was doing fairly well when he was filming yeah I mean I mean you know he did that little tribute to Nick where he was singing Shape of My Heart not too long ago too so maybe he was on a road and just slipped or we, I mean we don't know what exactly happened um, right. but if you um, Amelia wrote a really nice tribute to him on the website mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Lisa posted something today she it's not really about Aaron but she was at the London concert the day after the news broke the one where Nick got really upset um, during the show and she um, talked about how it felt good to be there for him you know mm-hmm. even though she was one little person in that big audience after they have been there for her all these years so it was a really it was a really good um, blog post um, I posted yeah. it this morning for her yeah no it's it's I can't imagine having been at that show um it was emotional enough to watch footage of it, but yeah, hopefully they're still feeling all the love, Nick especially. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah. Since it ended on that note, that's a good note. We'll end it on yeah. that note. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay. So we want to do this little thing. We, um, um, Amber and I, I only said Amelia, Amber and I read this book, um, it's a book I found while I was at a bookstore with my best friend from high school, who's the one that got me started in fan fiction. Um, she was here visiting um, the weekend after my mom died. And we um, found this book named Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. And I just looked at the back of it really quickly. And it was something about a guy on a TV show and then a girl who writes fan fiction about the guy on the TV show, about the characters. And I was like, well, I need to get this book. And so I did. And plus, uh, on the front cover, the girl, the main character is plus size. And she's got red hair. And then the guy's blonde. And I was like, well, I just need it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, you know. Not thinking anything of it. But after we got to reading it, um, the guy just seems like Nick Carter. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the girl seems like you. Yeah, I know. That's why it's weird. And then he has a best friend that's on his show named Alexander or Alex. Yeah. Which which makes it even worse. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, there were some parallels. There were a few parallels. Definitely definitely parallels. Alex is the one getting in trouble. Like, I don't want to give the story away, but like, (laughs) yeah, it was a very AJ thing to do. 
<laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. I caught that. I think it was a, it was a cute story. Um, I'm going to be honest. I read it, what, two weeks ago. It's been like a couple weeks now yeah. and I don't remember a lot of it at this point, but my brain doesn't retain information unless it's like lyrics to Backstreet Boys songs yeah. past like a day. But I, I did really like it. It was um, kind of an interesting twist on like the fan fiction world, you know? Yeah. And coming from that, because you've written fan fiction. I don't think you've published anything, though, like fan fiction rise, right? No, I've never. No. Mm-mm. Except what I never read published. the other day. <laughs> I've never published anything. Um, and I, I wrote a lot of stuff when I was younger, but no. Oh, yeah. People much. have read all kind of dirty stuff from me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if anybody read I Want to Be Bad. <laughs> I don't think I ever read that one. Oh, yeah. It's dirty. Um, <laughs> it was about three girls that follows the Black and Blue tour. And we were, I, I was writing it with someone. And we wrote it during while the Black and Blue tour were, was going on. And we mm-hmm. had already been writing AJ having alcohol problems. And then he ends up going into rehab in real life. It was very it's, weird. It's those spidey senses. I have that's what Nick senses. says. Yeah. That's what Nick says about you. Yeah. And you do. I do. I really it's do. Weird. It, it's weird. Anyway, so it, this one. It's yeah. because Nick does read my fan. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, <laughs> I bet he has. I yeah, bet he has. I think he has. I'm not going to lie. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. He said my name out loud at a um, BIP once when, when, okay, the someone who asked if he'd read fan fiction was me. <laughs> but. <laughs> And then he was like, no, it's bad. It's bad. It's not true. And then he's like, what are some sites? And he started naming it. And then he goes, my confession and everybody. And I just thought, oh, shit. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so like in the book, the girl, so the girl gets with the guy because obviously you know where this is going. She gets with the actor that from the show that she writes fan fiction about. And then she says she can't write it anymore after they get together and that's okay obviously i'm not with nick he's just my make-believe husband (laughs) but because i've gotten so close to them as a group met them talked to them and all that it's very weird for me now to even think about writing fan fiction so i totally understood that part of Mm -hmm. the book even though she ends up writing it but she writes another version of the character so she found a way around it I did too, kind of, because I, every guy I write in the story is somehow loosely based on Nick. Yeah, yeah. But it's not fan fiction anymore. No, no, no. And it's different things. Like, he doesn't always have blonde hair. <clears throat> you know, well, he's always got the linebacker thighs. <laughs> <laughs> which, which he hid, by the way, which you mentioned. He did in, hide uh, it. He did hide it. Hide it. Canadian version of Mass Singer. <clears throat> yeah, that long coat. Well, I told him. I told him that on the, got called out for that. Yeah, Kevin called him out, and then I told him on the loot call. I was like, I was like, the one we did at Christmas time. You know, I was like, you know, my mom knew it was you because of your thighs, and he just went <laughs> to laughing. Was that after he had already? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It was. It yeah. was when they he did the Christmas loop calls. I don't. Remember, <clears throat> I didn't see them. I don't remember uh, like any of it all. Yeah, he just cracked up laughing. I was like, my mom knew it was you because of your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that gave it away. So now he knows better. So, <laughs> so yeah, all my fictional male characters, if you ever read my books or stories, fiction ones will always have Nick's thighs. Just, we're just going to put that out there. So speaking of your fictional books, do you have a couple that are up for sale, right? Yeah, I took... Um, how to be an adult fangirl down because I'm trying to see if I can get it published. Um, okay. But the other ones are up right now, but the one okay. in fangirl is probably the one that's most based on Nick because he's in a boy band. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's an some... interesting. Well, the girl... that yeah, the girl won, um, won a contest on a cruise. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know anybody. I don't know. That. I don't know anybody who did that either. <laughs> I didn't win a date like she did, but you know, I got a kiss. That was good enough. Yeah, and you have uh, photographic evidence of that. Too. God bless yeah. Justin. God bless him for that photo. <laughs> that that needs to be on your tombstone too. That's gonna be my obit photo. 
Yeah. It when I was be. looking for my mom's, I was thinking about what do I want for my obit photo? And it's going to be Nick kissing me on the cruise. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not even my picture and I still like love that <laughs> one so much. <laughs> okay, so that like going to from parents and obit photos to children. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> um so Amber's son watched the Backstreet Boys documentary. <laughs> yeah, okay. So my son is seven. Um and he's a really big fan. And he's been wanting to watch the documentary for a really long time, but I haven't been letting him because it's a little bit mature for him. Um, considering his age, but my husband let him watch the pink documentary last weekend. And I was like, or a couple weekends ago. And I was like, you know what, if you can watch the pink documentary, you can watch the fact was one too. Uh, I just like spoke really loud over parts that I didn't want him to hear. Like the, um, uh, the, what, what language was it? German? When Kevin says, Oh, um, will you give me a blowjob or something like that? Yeah, in whatever language he says that in. I just spoke really loudly so he couldn't hear it. But, <laughs> I mean, he, I don't think he knows what that is. I hope he doesn't know what that is at seven. Um, so it was interesting because he's he's a big fan of the boys. He's seen them a couple times in, in concert. Um, he loves their music. My daughter does too. She's three. But he's very sensitive. And so he didn't want to watch it at first. Like he, he really wanted to. And then when I told him that he could, he's like, Oh no, no, I don't want to watch it. I'm like, Oh, well, why? And he said he was just nervous because he was worried. Like it, it would be too sad or scary or upsetting to him. Um, so it was really interesting. precious. And so when the part, when, if you, hopefully you've all seen it, when Kevin's sharing about his dad and they're in uh, Kentucky at his, um, his family's ranch, um, and Kevin gets real sad talking about the story about his dad. Um, my son just literally got up and left the room. Like he didn't want to, like, he was like, no, I'm, this is too much for me. It's too sad. I don't want to see him so sad. And he just left. And he was like, I'm just, I'll come back in a while. Um, it was, just, it was interesting. I think he probably only understood like maybe 50% of the, sh- of the actual content. Um, some of it was way over his head, but, but I mean, I think he enjoyed it. Um, what, did, what did he think of the thought? Did he see the thought? So I had to, um, I paused it at that point and, and said, okay, so I just want to warn you there in, and I spoke to him like I do my seven year old, um, where they're, they're not making the best choices about how they express their feelings. Um, they're going to say some words that are not words that you can use. And they're, they're we call them stay at home words because sometimes they come out and they just can't leave the house is kind of our rule. <laughs> Um, though they're stay at home words, they can't, (laughs) we can't use them anywhere else, but you know, it's going to be okay because in a little while we'll see how they resolve the problem. Cause we know, like we saw them in concert this year. We know that they're, they're okay now. Right. And he, he was just kind of looking at me like, uh, I don't think I want to watch this part. And I was like, no, it's okay. We're going to (laughs) watch. Yeah. I just, I told him like, so I paused it and I gave him a warning. It's like, they're, they're going to, they're a little bit upset about some things. And, um, and, but it's hard because the context is really yeah, difficult. Yeah. This is not really just about the song. It's, you know, in his voice and all of those things. There's a lot more behind it. So I didn't go into like all that detail. But I just I just warned him like, they're, you know, not going to make the best choices about how they're expressing their feelings right now. And so that's kind of what we did. He I think he was a little freaked out by it, honestly, but I had warned him. Was, so it was It's like, a big fight. Like, so when yeah. um, Amanda was here staying with me, um, she hadn't seen it yet, so we watched it, and she was hella shocked by it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and um, I mean, she didn't know a lot about Brian's voice either, so it kind of opened her eyes for that. But then seeing that fight with them at the end, toward the end, uh, mm-hmm. she was like, "Damn, yeah!" Like she couldn't believe they filmed that to put it out. I was like, "Well, I mean, it's not 1998 anymore, but yeah." yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were pretty real. Like, they, they didn't hide anything Mm-mm. with that documentary, um, which I appreciate, you know. And it, it was, it is hard to watch. And I, I mean, they, I would imagine they feel the same way. It's hard to watch, but it's part of their relationship. I mean, all of them. It's part of their dynamic. And, you know, we know, I love Nick, but sometimes there's a little bit of a temper. And well, It's hot, though. It's hot. <laughs> It doesn't matter what he does, you're gonna say that. It no, 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 I don't like the crying. 
So like when he cried, okay. I cried. When he cries, I cry. When he cried in one, then I cried. When he cried, every time I watch a documentary and he cries at the school, I cry. And I don't, yeah. I don't, I'm not a crier unless I get angry. Like so, if Nick, if I was that mad at, as Nick was with Brian, I would cry. Yeah, I hear you. But yeah, I just don't like to see him cry. See, and I'm the opposite. I just cry all the time, all the time for anything, Ugh. a lot. I cried at I cried at work on on Thursday, although it was a good reason. Uh, it was a rough week. Oh yeah, but but, um, but yeah. Anyway, so I think he liked it, and I asked him if he learned anything new, and he was like, "No, not really." And then I was like, "Really?" Because there's a lot of information in there. And then um, I mentioned like about well, like you got to see Kevin's like home and you uh, Brian's school, and you know, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." There were some cool things like that. Like okay. Okay. And like the the piece of when Nick's talking about his family and their his parents and all of that, I think he kind of tuned out because he was like, "This is too much for me." Yeah. <laughs> so it, it is pretty deep for a kid. Yeah. So I had to like for those pieces, I either spoke way loud so he couldn't hear the wording, or I stopped like paused it and gave him like some context so that he knew what to expect. But um, yeah, I mean he, he's way too young to have watched that so it was probably the worst mom decision I've ever made in my life no but- <laughs> I mean no when I was a kid when I was his age I had already watched I don't know if anybody listening knows these movies but like Porky's Por- no, it's like it, yeah it's like Porky's Attack of the Killer Tomatoes which is why I still don't like tomatoes um I used to watch all, my uncle and my they didn't care what I watched like I watched anything. I watched Revenge of the Nerds and I didn't realize how dirty it was until I was an adult and watched it one night on Cinemax. And I was like, damn. Cinemax was like... Sex everywhere. Yeah, we don't need that one in our house, so... (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. Yeah, well, so he's been indoctrinated to that and uh, he probably will never want to watch it again until he's way older, if ever. (laughs) But he likes the Christmas album. He loves... (laughs) the Christmas album and he has done a review for it a video review which hopefully we'll uh, yes. I'm put up soon I'm going to try I have video of him and his friend reviewing the Christmas album um, they, have, they did the review the weekend my mom died so I hadn't had a chance to edit it yet but I'm going to start that tomorrow um, okay. and hopefully get, get a video up of that soon because it's kind of funny from what I've seen so far <laughs> They're, they were just, they were, they went from sitting and listening to doing cartwheels to um, diving into couch cushions because they wanted it to be snow. It was quite interesting to watch them go through that process. So, so yeah, it was good. Looking forward to it. I need to um, do a review of it. I haven't done a, like a real review of it. But then again, I've only listened to some of the songs like once or twice. What? I still have that. I, I, okay, you don't like Christmas music. I love Christmas music. Well, see, I, and, I love the original song and Last Christmas, but mm-hmm. I haven't heard Felice Navidad. I haven't put my CD player in yet, so I haven't even heard their version of that yet. Uh, I need to do that. I am such a Christmas music fan, and I just love Christmas. So today we put on the album on um, on YouTube on the TV, and we actually put up our holiday stuff um our tree and everything and my husband was super annoyed with me he's like it's november I'm like i don't care i want to put my stuff up so we just listened to the album all the way through like two or three times while we were just decorating and um I, honestly for me there's no skips on that album i love it i love the whole thing um yeah i mean i've listened to it all the way through and like i haven't skipped anything but I just, I don't know. It's just something about, I don't know. I mean, I love their voices on it. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just, I mean, it, I don't even listen to Elvis's Christmas music, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do love the original ones, though. I like the peppiness. Yeah. Like, they're happy and they're back streety. And I can see Brian going, hello, I see you. <laughs> In the middle of performing I know, I it. Really need to, I need to see them do these live at some point. Well, hopefully the Christmas um, special, they'll do everything. I hope so. That, or I would like to see them. What is that song? The, um, that sounds like a fan fiction. On the album? Yeah. The one where he meets and runs into an old lover. Oh, uh, same old Lang Sang. Yes. I can't never remember the name of that. 
I would like to see them sing that. I had never heard that song before. Um, I'd only heard the end of it. Well, you know, the end of it is actually from an, a different song. It's from all Lang Syne, which is like a, like a super old, um, isn't that what they sing on New Year's Eve? Or... Yes, okay, yes. Okay, like, yeah. I'm not going. You'll crazy. hear that on New Year's Eve. No, yeah, that's that's that. And I don't know that the aside from the story about how it's like a true story, um, the song, the writer, um, what's his name, Fogelberg. Yeah. Uh, I don't know this the context of why he chose to sing this song, and it's slightly modeled after that. Um, but that last piece there, I don't think that's in the original. Um, the same old link, same version, like the Fogelberg version. So, oh. um, yeah. So I'm curious about that. I, I, I really want to hear about how that came to be, but I'd never heard it. And I'm obsessed with that song. It is so beautiful. And there's a couple of verses they didn't, they didn't do, or they didn't include, Yeah, which just kind of changed the picture a little bit too, which kind of makes it even sadder. It, but It reminds me of a fan fiction. He goes to the I store, runs that. into the old lover. You know, they talk about, you know, the years have been good to her. Yeah. Okay. So I can see that. I had not, that had not come to mind. See, it's, a fan fi- it's a fictional mindset that I, I live in. Like where Nick's my husband, Chris Hemsworth's my <laughs> husband. I'm going to run into Chris Hemsworth at the store and he's going to tell me the years have been good to me. Even though I've never <laughs> met him before. All right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I hadn't thought about it, but I, I, I can see it. All right. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, we're, I want to give you a couple of minutes to chat about your big, exciting book that's coming out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, oh my God, I don't know what to say about it. Um, well, so why don't you just share, like, how does one get a random publishing deal such as this for the best boy band in the history of the world? So did this, how did it come to be? Uh, one Sunday morning, I was checking my email and I had just like woken up and I got, I got an email from our email address on the side. And, um, it was this girl, um, her name is Kara. She's one of our editors. Um, and she's a big Backstreet Boys fan and wanted to know if Amelia and I would be interested in doing this book. So um, I talked to Amelia, I emailed her back and told her, yeah, I'd love, to, you know, we'd love to meet with them. Um, so Amelia couldn't make it um, to the meeting. So I talked with her, her and their, um, I guess, head editor, head, the person over the publishing company there. And um, yeah, so we got it and we ended up writing it and we started researching and stuff before the um, contract was even done um, just because so because it was we had to get it done in such a short amount of time. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much why I had no life this summer between that, <laughs> my mom, the concerts, my Etsy shop <laughs> yeah, and work, you know, my real job. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it, it just came about randomly. I just checked my email and there it was. And she had been to my side had been going to my side and um and yeah. that's how amelia and i got to do it and it's right now they're finishing up the design of it um we ended up I ended up adding a dedication to my mom on the acknowledgement page um and then we got emailed monday about aaron and so we ended up doing a page dedicated to him um mm-hmm. and so that's being designed right now and i think we should have like a hard copy of it in our hands in february and then the release date is april 11th so right before the 20th 30th <laughs> right i went back oh yeah years. 20th no 20th it is the 20th i meant april 20th yeah maybe, you know whatever it's all the same <laughs> Well, so you've got to have your signed copies at whatever 30th events actually maybe do happen if they actually happen next year. Jesus. Oh, no. We got to do that. I- I'm hoping Nick's comments about big things coming that he said in one of the articles the other day, I hope he's not talking about the Jingle Ball stuff and that he's actually talking about like anniversary stuff. <laughs> well, but it, it's, he didn't you say, he said something about an announcement. There's, what are you going to announce about the Jingle Balls? We already know they're, I mean, they're, unless, they're happening. Unless the do. interviews were done ahead of that. We don't know. But that was quite some time ago. 
Yeah. That they were announced. That's true. Yeah. Oh, I, don't I don't know. We can I hope we, I hope it is. But you but you know how this goes. They're gonna they are announcing something, so they're gonna announce an announcement and then the announcement's gonna be to come back at this time for the announcement. I mean it's you know how this goes. That or <laughs> so, we find out ahead of time. <laughs> and then they have to tell us. So. Yeah. <laughs> true. We'll see which one it is and how soon this happens. So Yeah, so if you know, I'm hoping I will be able to go to the anniversary thing wherever it is. I know Amelia is wanting to go. So, and while, yes, you too. Um, (laughs) And while we aren't famous at all, I'm not famous. Like, you have a blue check. I I paid $8 for it. (laughs) Well, technically, I had already been a member of Twitter Blue. Just because mm-hmm. I liked being able to post longer videos and edit my tweets. But I did pay the extra $6 just because I wanted fucking verification. And I guess that's going away after this month. So I'm just going to enjoy it for the next month and take a bunch of screenshots. <laughs> well, also, your book is on um, Target and Walmart yeah. and Barnes and & Noble. It, and all, it's, on everything. Ev- it's on everything. Yeah, it's on, I think, Correct. everything now like, where you can buy books. Um, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and um, I think I was I would have been able to get a ver- verification. Me and Amelia, that's why all we wanted from the damn book is to get verified on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we wanted. We just wanted to be published and get a verification thing. Um, but I think <laughs> unless they change it back to how it was, we'll still be able to do that after some of the press starts coming out for it. Because you yeah. had to show that you have like three mm-hmm. recent articles written or written about you. Oh, okay. And they don't well, count blog yeah. posts. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I've, I could do that. Um, okay, I have a request okay. about the book. Can we get an audible version? And can we request that the boys do that uh, loud? I would oh, love sorry. to hear them reading your book out loud. I would like for Nick to read one of my fictional books out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... I don't know if I could manage that one. I feel like it would be hard to listen through parts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, we. <laughs> I'll speak some French think, now. We, oui, we. Oui. I um, also think, I, I can't imagine him, like, because I've read some of your stuff, and there's definitely some uh, intense moments, and I feel like he would just laugh through it. Probably. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to read through it, like, not out loud. Probably do. That didn't happen. or. <laughs> His thing, <laughs> he starts laughing, you know, cackling. Yes, that's totally what I see. I see him, he's going to cackle. <laughs> I don't know. But, oh, my God, we have to find a way to make that happen. That would be I, really, really awesome. I hope they don't ask us to do an audio version because my accent would never work. Don't worry. I got you. I'll do it. Go, okay. I'm glad someone <laughs> will because I just could not. I took, di- I took dialect. I had to take dialect for my media degree and the teacher hated me. I was like, and you're in South Georgia. Like, what do you expect? Well, Twiddly D, I'm I, like Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'll want that for the book. You never know. That's true. I, it is, I don't it know. It's in your voice. So, oh, I hope not. Maybe Emilio will read it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But it would be cool if it was on Audible. And it would be really cool if at least the boys do their quotes. Because oh, I would imagine yes. you have some quotes in the book. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, there's a few choice cuss words also thanks to AJ. Always thanks to AJ. Or Nick. No, or I Nick. think most of the words in the book, the cuss words, came from AJ. Okay. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. Well, is there anything else about the book you want to share? Um, let me see. I don't know. Our space here? Um, there's a lot, we have of, the, there's a the, lot, there's a lot of photos in it. Um, photos that haven't been mm-hmm. seen. Um, a lot of them I've taken. Um, we also have some from some other fans, um, that donated that have really good photography. Um, and like Jenny is one of them. Um, J is her Instagram handle and I think Twitter handle also. Um, she takes amazing photos of the boys. Um, she has some in there. Um, she was like one of the first person we thought of when it came to photos. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So like one thing is like, I wanted to make sure it wasn't just me and Amelia and it was just like all kind of fans involved. So we got, I have, we have, uh, you know, it's been said that I only picked my friends for the book or me and Amelia picked our friends. Mm -hmm. There's people in the book that I don't know. Yeah. You know, I've never really talked to before. So that's one thing I really wanted to say is that, you know, I did yes, I have some friends in there. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Amber's in the book. I am. Yeah. As, as is my seven year old. Yes. We had to put him. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and so like, you know, I put yeah, I put my friends in the book, but I also put there's a lot of it's about equal equals down pretty much, like to people that I don't know also or people that I did know but I'm not really that friendly with, you know. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. several people in there like that. And to, you, you kind of had like there's a, a reason why people like, this person that happened to be at this event or whatever, and that's why you asked them. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. So like we had photos donated of the boys with Drake from the Toronto mm-hmm. concert. Um, and let's see, wait a minute. Oh, Bri- Brianne said today I checked if Nick's memoir. See, I can't say that word. I can't re- write, say, do an audible of a book. Was on Audible in his voice, and sadly, he didn't narrate it. Boo. Yeah, so I actually, I, I could say that I um, am aware of that because I listened to his book on a drive home, and I was like, these aren't, this isn't his voice, and I, I couldn't, it was like, no, I, I would need him to read this. It doesn't make sense in someone else's voice. But See, my, my um, version on Kindle isn't like the version you bought. It's the one I got sent by his publisher. Cause I, I got sent the book like two or three weeks, two, th- two or three months early. So it wasn't the final edition because I looked and there's some things in the, in the version I have that didn't make the actual book. <laughs> how, how did you get that? How'd you get an early copy? I was working at the um, newspaper in Athens, which is a, obviously university of Georgia, big. And so uh-huh. That's the um, that's the newspaper I was at when I started. What is mm-hmm. BSB Fangirls? Um, and so I was doing a lot of pop stuff, country stuff, concert stuff. Um, and so I was like, huh. So and I was about to email them about that, and someone emailed me seeing if I wanted to do a review, and I was like, well, yes. So I stayed up all <laughs> night and read it after they sent it to me. Um, wow. And they wanted my quote for my review of it was almost put on the back cover of the book, but they changed it at the last minute. That's exciting. I know I would have died. Well, that's cool though. You got, you got to read it ahead. I don't think I read it for a little while, but, um, I have a signed copy of like hand, like, you know, a real copy. Yeah. He signed my copy actually at his birthday party a few years back, but I, that was like not, it had been released for a while at that point. But it's a, it's anyway. a good, it was a good book. I'm not going to lie. It was a good book. I was proud of them. No, it was a great book. There's a lot of really good information and a lot of really, like, it, it's, it's, there's definitely some inspirational pieces, but it's also really kind of nice to hear his side of everything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I remember so. I did, um, uh, for some reason, every time they do Q&As, Eddie or Justin gives me the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> and so I asked, it was on uh, the In a World Like This in Atlanta and I asked um asked Nick and you know I told him I was like I got early copy of your book for a review um and I you know I, I loved it I, I'm going to let you know what I think of it but I was like I wanted to know if the other guys had read it and they hadn't yet at that point I think Howie said he might have read some of it but then um Brian goes well what did you think I was like I wrote him a letter I, I'm gonna tell him because I was giving Nick a letter um, backstage and a card for him to read. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Just because I wanted to tell him that, you know, even in his darkest days, he changed my life. Because I hadn't got to tell him that at that point. Um, yeah. And so Brian's like, oh, you wrote him a letter? What are you going to do? Mail it to the fan club? I was like, no, I'm going to give it to him backstage. I couldn't mail the fan club him. anymore. Well, I don't even know. Well, actually, yeah, I guess we could probably get the address and, online. But and then I was like, uh, he was like, "What did you think?" I was like, "Well, you could tell he wrote it." And Nick goes, "What do you mean you could tell I wrote it?" <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah. know, it's definitely in your voice. Yeah, it's just exactly what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor Nick! I love him. 
<laughs> so um, I think we should wrap it up because it's been yes, almost an hour. It's uh, it's almost my bedtime. <laughs> Eleven thirty. I'm just get going. No, actually, I'm ready to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Uh, so yeah, let's so- go to your thing. What you were wanting to talk about last? I well, I just wanted to put put it out there um, for anybody that knows anybody that might be interested in going to the Detroit Jingle Ball. I got a couple second row seats that I sadly am not going to be able to use anymore. So if anyone knows anybody, send them my way. And then also whoever goes in those seats, take all the videos for me, please, because I <laughs> want to see it. <laughs> what, what day but is that on? It's on December 6th um, in so. Detroit. It's a Tuesday. Damn. And yeah. It's got to be a Tuesday because I was looking at it real quick. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I think it's the first of all the Jingle Balls that they're doing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, I think you're right. Who yeah, else is so, at that show? Who else is at that show? That would not uh, help people mm, want to get So them. it's Macklemore and um, the Kid Leroy and oh, um, oh my gosh, uh, Tate McRae. Who the hell um, are these people? I know Macklemore. And Khalid. You know Khalid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. Yeah. Um, not, enough, Tate, not enough to Tate go to Detroit, has, but... Tate, Tate McRae has some... I, I like Tate, Tate McRae. Oh, There's... Yes. Um, the Kid Leroy has that song with Justin Bieber. Um, Is it about called? Pray or something Stay? like that? Stay, I think it's called. Oh, Stay, Pray, something... Stay. Everybody's got a song with Justin Bieber. Dan and Shay have a song with the, Justin Bieber. They do. I like them too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, if anybody knows anybody, um, just hit us up. Again, again the videos are definitely going to be something I'm going to want. But I'll watch the, uh, there's the news feed of it or whatever it is. Those live stream. Isn't there a live stream? Oh, no. Just, I think that's just um, New York. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would imagine the show's going to be pretty similar. Oh, and Julie yeah. was doing that one, which I really like her too. And Liz, uh, oh, wait a minute, in Detroit or New York? No, in New York. Oh, yeah, Lizzo's going to be at the one in New York. Oh, is she? I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, that's the only reason I was looking at that one, possibly. Well, I would have loved to see her. Is she not doing the L.A. one? I don't think. I think she, that's the only one she's doing, unless yeah. she's doing one without the boys. Yeah, pro- well, possibly. Well, Either way, I'm sure we'll get to see. Well, it makes sense because that's the televised one. Yeah, I love Liz- I love Lizzo. The thing oh, I'll just say this real quick before we go. I love Lizzo. Like I love that she's like a big girl and flouncing and all that. But I also love in her songs they remind me of me, where she just goes, "Hey, motherfuckers, did you miss <laughs> me?" She just she th- she's unapologetically herself, and she just throws out the word "bitch" and it's great. I. She reminds me in terms of her character of AJ. Like I, this oh is me. Oh God, that's that's true. Yeah, this is me. Th- this is who I am. Like you gotta love me because this is who I am. And if you don't, fuck off. Um, I I, just, <laughs> I appreciate that about her because it's yes. It's I wish I could live that way. I try. I try, and then that's why a lot of people hate me. <laughs> but you know, if you're if you're true to yourself, then that's what's important, right? Yep. That's what AJ's yep, so taught us. That's the big thing from this this um episode. Be true to yourself and just throw out the, the MF word any chance you get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any last thoughts before we sign off? Um, no, not from me. I know next time we do this, I don't know when we're gonna do it again. Um hopefully maybe soon, maybe after Thanksgiving. Um yeah. Yeah, Maybe after things. the Christmas stuff, in the middle of all the Christmas stuff, because yes. I'm going to magically make my way to, like, all the things. I don't know how, but I'm going to. I'm going to show up at <laughs> Kelly Clarkson and just stand and be like, no, I have tickets. Let me in. So just start singing. Just start singing. <laughs> and she'll let you in. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to figure out a way to, like, look like their crew or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know. So you know. next time next time we do this, we want to, like, get you guys in that listen to talk and stuff too so this was our first time so we were just kind of filling it out a little bit hopefully you liked it hopefully you're not tired of my accent or mine and hopefully, 
Yeah, and hopefully you're not <laughs> insulted by my use of motherfucker. So. <laughs> I, I feel like that's, again, unapologetically you. That's just what it is. <laughs> it makes me happy just to be like, what, what is it? Oh, that song. She has a song called I Love You, Bitch. And I just think that's great. <laughs> I just love her. I need Everything the boys to do a song with her. They need to do a song with her. <laughs> Oh yes. Next time we should talk about all the actual like yes people they should they should do. But uh, still, Ed Sheeran and them is my number one. But I can totally see Lizzo. That would be Lizzo, Lizzo or Taylor. Taylor would that would be interesting. Their, their music is well. I guess her newer stuff is a lot like yeah. theirs. Yeah, there's some Max Martin in there. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, she's very Max Martin now, so mm-hmm. that would work. Yeah. Okay, that we'll we'll bring that up, and then you guys can bring in who you think they should do a song with too, and we'll like patch you in because we're getting all fancy and stuff with this <laughs> Twitter space. If unless Elon, you know, knocks Twitter off or something until then, and then we might have to do Zoom, and I'll have to get dressed and put on makeup. <laughs> we'll we'll worry about that when we get there. Yes, for now, <laughs> we'll we'll stick to Twitter Spaces and. Uh, patch everybody in yes okay well we're gonna head out we gotta go to sleep i'm not yet i'm still watching cnn and the election so <laughs> very very um exciting stuff oh yes wolf blitzer rocks my world i'm i'm going to put on something backstreet boys probably the christmas album because it is my favorite thing ever right now <laughs> and i am going to sleep because my kids are going to be up at five because that's what they like to do oh my on God. Sunday. go to sleep they- I know. They get up so early, and then on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, we have to drag them out of bed for school. It's really annoying. That's how it always is. Uh, it's, it's dumb. I don't understand. Like, it's Sunday. <laughs> so, I hope everybody else has a wonderful Sunday and that yes. you all sleep in comfortably. <laughs> and be on the lookout for the video of her um, her son and his friend for the Christmas review. I'm going to try to get that done tomorrow or at least by the end of, by at least sometime this week. So, Sounds good. Yeah. All right. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.